Iran has scrapped its morality police after two months of protests triggered by the arrest of Masa Amini for allegedly violating the country's strict female dress code. Now, according to the news agency AFP, Iran has abolished its notorious morality police that is tasked with enforcing the strict mandatory hijab law. Now, remember, the 22-year-old Mahasa Amini died following her arrest by the notorious unit. Her death in the month of September sparked nationwide protests in Iran, challenging the Islamic region's authority. So that is, of course, the big breaking update that is coming in in terms of the fact that uh, the morality police have, uh, had, in fact, enforced that hijab law earlier, which has now, we understand, been abolished. Now, for more on this, I'm joined in by my colleague, Shrinjoy. Shrinjoy, this is, of course, a big development. Now, the fact that in Iran, after the death of 22-year-old uh, Mahasa Amini, we did see those protests also that emerged. How do you view this big update, this big uh, move that has come in now? Well, the Iranian authorities really had a choice. They could either continue with a crackdown and crackdown against their own people and including women and this was spreading to different parts of the country or they could ease things a little bit and they've chosen to do the latter. They probably felt that a crackdown uh, was really not going to solve the problem because there have been too many protests <coughs> including by women in different parts of the country and these protests were spreading. So it is really sensible to actually listen to the uh, to reason and realize that well there was actually no need uh, for the moral police to do all the things that it has done and was doing so it was the right decision uh, perhaps at this point by the authorities to rein in the moral police Shinjoy, as you're also pointing that out, the guidance uh, patrols with units which uh, began in 2006, could you give us a sense of what, uh, you know, their role was for all these years? We do understand that they were established in 2006 um, to a sense to kind of uh, spread the culture of uh, hijab and the modesty, of course, and for people to be following that code of conduct. Now, what happens to these guidance patrols as well, if you could talk to us about that? Well, first of all, these guidelines remain. No one has said that these guidelines are going to be removed. What the authorities have done is rein the moral police in. Well, if they have reined the moral police in, at least the protests will stop. That's really the most important thing. Or at least it's a hope to ensure that these protests, which were going out of hand, and the international community was looking at them, and there was a lot of criticism worldwide, that at least that would stop. And maybe, the Iranian government believes that if you rein in the moral police, then at least this problem, these protests would get toned down or perhaps stop. And that is what they want. Right. And on the political front, before I let you go, if we, the, uh, President Raisi had initially said that uh, the constitutionally entrenched, but methods to make uh, constitution flexible. So that move, of course, is being welcomed now after this comment that he had made previously. Yes, of course. Now, of course, you have to see that it's all legal and everything. And that's the right thing to do. The people of Iran are protesting. The women of Iran are protesting. So maybe the authorities realized they had gone a little too far. And perhaps it would be the right decision to tone down things. And that is exactly what has been done.